Sunday anchor Chris Wallace, my guest now, and good afternoon to you. Nice to see you still standing. Uh, you know, I, I, I had just gotten over <laughs> no. uh, the PTSD, and you put me right back into it Sorry there. about that. I'm going to take a few moments. Let's go over a couple things here, because I know you, and y you have a plan. At what point did that plan blow up? Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not a, a little bit after that. Here's, here's what happened. You know, we began the first segment on the Supreme Court. They each got their two minutes, and they both uh, uh, obeyed in that particular case. Uh, then Biden started to answer a question, and the president started interrupting him. And my initial reaction was, this is great, because so often these debates become parallel news conferences where one candidate answers the question to him, the other candidate answers the question to him. So when the president started engaging with Biden, I thought, we're going to have a real debate here. It became clearer and clearer over time that this was something different and that uh, the president was determined to try to butt in and throw uh, Joe Biden off. Uh, you, you gave your statistics. I saw another Fox analysis that indicates the president interrupted either Biden's answers or my questions a total of 145 times, which is way more than one a minute. And, and he bears the primary responsibility. We are going to bring a little class to the show, so why don't you sit back and relax and enjoy from France, the Ballet d'Agonier.